we are looking forward to do some wave flying at the Jesenek wave camp. We go to the airport of Mikulovic. Rudy, what are we doing here? We are too late. <laughs> we are too late. <laughs> But first of all, I would like to start with a few words regarding the Jesenik Wave Camp. Every year at the end of October and beginning of November, the Aero Club Jesenik is organizing this happening at the airfield of Mikulovice. It is located in the northeastern part of the Czech Republic. This lovely airfield lies in the lee of the Jeseniki Mountains, about 10 kilometers northeast of the city of Jesenik, close to the border to Poland. With a southerly or southwesterly flow prevailing, nice waves are forming over the Jeseniki mountains. High altitudes can be reached here, so that I would say it is the best place in Central Europe to fly the diamond height. But not only the fact of high waves makes this place so special. Combined with the possibility to activate the wave air spaces, the glider pilots have a huge playground in the air, allowing them to feel like an airliner. Those so-called temporary segregated areas or TSAs make it possible that sailplanes are allowed to climb up to flight level 235, which is more than 7000 meters. And imagine, this is all possible without having a transponder or even being in radio contact with air traffic control. I think that's really incredibly fantastic. This year I went again with that guy, Guido, he's an extremely serious guy. We went together with the Jewish discus of my club to Mikulovice. Good and me have been there the first time already in 2012. In Mikulovice we met my club colleague Klaus. He likes to get up very early. Well, at least at the wave camp. He has been there already for some days before we arrived. His original Spaceballs movie caravan serves us every year as a personal base. So at the end of October 2021, we went again to the Jesenik Wave Camp. From a home airfield in Austria, it is about a 500 km ride, taking approximately 7 hours of drive with the trailer. You can't say that so precisely, as there are many roads to Jesenik. Google says we are on the fastest way to Mikulovice, but um, we are a little bit in doubt. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> anyway, Somehow we managed to arrive there at the end. Yeah, some short words regarding the wave flying here. So Mikulovice airport has a runway direction of 2-3. Uh, so exactly against the wind. The best waves rise when, when there is wind from the southwest. And uh, over there, those hills, i show you. Those hills uh, produce the waves so they are not that high in relation to the Alps for example they are about uh, 1000 meters above field elevation here so it's about 1500 meters above uh, mean sea level but it's it's sufficient that uh, they develop really high waves so I've been up here up to almost 7000 meters already in the past for us here in Europe, the wind is coming, so we have late autumn, so we can extend the guiding season. Today we are going to have a, a, a first flight, no hurries, so just enjoy the time here. We are going to the takeoff position and then we are up in the air. Yeah, another thing what I wanted to tell you is oxygen is very important at uh, such high altitudes. That's why we have installed, of course, an oxygen system in our duo discus. Bottle of oxygen, enough for two persons. And here I've got the tube. And finally, the control unit. At the end, every pilot has got this uh, cannula for the nose. It's going to be placed like that and it's an oxygen on demand system so it only delivers oxygen when you breathe in so to save oxygen and to have always enough oxygen but wait before we go flying there is one more thing on very good forecasted days there is a funny ride trail going on long before the sun is rising you can watch pilots at the first competition of the day who is going to win the night race for the best positions for towing 
It feels like being a guest at the racetrack. Who will be the winner and what are the odds? Every time it is funny to see. We had the best view in it while having breakfast in front of Klaus Caravan and drinking a good cup of coffee. In former days, when I was young, I also participated at this ritual once in order to please the Sun King. Rudi, wie spät ist jetzt? Keine Ahnung, was nur. 6 Uhr 20. 6.20 Uhr. 20. Und was machen wir gerade? Wir müssen viel spät machen. Viel spät machen. Wir haben schon 10 Flieger. Das ist schon hell. 6 Uhr 20. Ja. Das ist verrückt. Ist. In the meantime, I am older and I prefer to have breakfast instead of heroin to the start. The background for the other pilots is that if there are good wave conditions, there are long lines of lift to find across the TSA areas. So there have been already 1000 km wave flights done. But the days in autumn are short and to have enough time of daylight, the pilots need to start early. And the towing capacity is limited, so the sooner you are in the start queue, the more hours in the air you have to fly long distances. Those are probably the most impressive days at the Jesenik camp. When the long wave of Loha Vilna, how it is called in the Czech language, is forming, great highways in the skies are arising. And this is really very, very impressive. You should check it out once by yourself. Okay. It's now 8 o'clock. The first um, toes have been already done so far. And uh, our duty is because it's rigged too, so we're going to the takeoff position. Yeah. So let's go flying. <laughs> 